Louisiana Beer Reviews, Genesee Beer. Good morning, tasty liquor lovers. Today we're reviewing Genesee Beer. Uh, this brewery was established in Rochester, New York in 1878. And actually it was established in 1857, but the people that owned it in two, until 2009, they had bought it and uh, renamed it in 1878. Today, since 2009, it's owned by an outfit called North American Breweries, which is the largest independent-owned brewery in the United States. Uh, it's 4.5% alcohol. According to the website, it uses six-row malt, corn grits, and Yakima Valley hops. It gets a C on Beer Advocate. The bros gave it a C. I gave it a B plus. It gets a poor rating on Rate Beer and a very fine rating on the Beer in Me. This is the new design, which was adopted in 2010. And to me, it almost has like a store brand <laughs> design. It's peculiar. When I bought some of the Genesee, I bought a six pack of this in 2010 on US at a liquor store on US Highway 1 in Maryland. This was the, the, the can design. And then right after they adopted this, I think I prefer the, this design, although it's not the greatest looking. I had it once before in um, 1997 in a town called Hot Bottom. Pennsylvania on US Highway 11 and it was out of a 12 ounce bottle. I had it with lunch and I thought it was excellent. Okay, well, I'm going to drag this out. We'll go ahead and get started with it. <clears throat> 24 ounce can. Have to be careful with the pour because you might know these have a tendency to spill everywhere. I'm going to try to save the can for my collection. Right. Mm -hmm. Very carbonated. Uh, the brewery in Rochester brews a lot of contract beer. Also, they do a lot of contract brewing. Like, for instance, the Walgreens Big Flats 1901 is brewed there. And North American Breweries owns a lot of different brands, like uh, Magic Hat, Pyramid, a bunch of stuff. So it's pretty big. Uh, thick white head, clear, yellow appearance, standard beer appearance, lots of bubbles streaming up. So this is just a regular style American beer. Let's go ahead and give it the smell test. <clears throat> Grains, corn probably. Some breadiness and clean water. That's about it. Now with the taste. Hope it doesn't start raining again. It's been raining so much the last week. The grass is growing like mad. I'm going to have to cut it tomorrow for sure if I can fit it in with the rain. All right, back to this. Uh, It's sweet or semi-sweet. It has indistinguishable grain flavors leaning toward corn. A very light hop bitterness. I don't know what the IBU is, but I'm thinking about a 10. I know the Genesee Cream Ale is a 12 IBU. Um, like I said, this 4.5% alcohol, so it's similar. It's sort of low on the alcohol scale. A Bush beer, you know, is 4.6. This is 4.5, and I would say this is as light bodied, if not slightly lighter bodied than the bush. The finish is crisp, clean, refreshing, dry. If you're somebody that uh, likes American style lagers with the corn or rice adjunct, and usually it's the corn adjunct, right? I think Budweiser mainly is the, the rice adjunct beer, although uh, 
Rolling Rock uses corn and rice as their adjunct. Anyway, if you like that style, this holds its own against the other American style lagers. And usually it's sold at a budget price. I do like the style. I'm so used to it, I guess. I was so bitterly disappointed with the Yingling original amber lager yesterday. It had that cardboard taste. So did that Barina from Honduras. But this isn't this, I don't encounter that cardboard taste. Uh, I'm just tasting a typical beer flavor. I'm going to drop it down, though, on this one to a B-. minus. It's good, but just good. Um, I gave it a B plus last year. I've had the Genesee three times, and I do find that the, it's very consistent. I mean, it tastes the same every time. So, if you get a chance, I do recommend that you buy it. Um, I'm smelling the chamomile that I put on my arm and my feet from the poison ivy. <laughs> but it, it has a traditional beer smell. It has a traditional beer flavor. It's nothing extraordinary. It's more ordinary than anything. But as it goes with that, look at that head. <laughs> oh man, it's so carbonated. As it as it stands with it, for an American style typical lager, it's fine. It's at least a B minus. And I would recommend that you get it. Let me put this can down so it doesn't get damaged. So I'm I'm gonna say laissez les bon temps roulé. This is a pretty good beer, and I'm gonna end this review by saying y'all come on down to New Orleans or y'all visit Queensland, Australia.